as we know, correlations just tell us whether two variables are associated with one another. As one goes up, does the other go up or go down, or is it unrelated to variable number one? And that's useful information, but we also often want to know whether there is a way to predict one variable from the other one. And this is where regression comes into play. So I'm going to keep the correlation matrix up just to draw a couple parallels as we go through this. But I'm going to see if I can create a regression equation to predict someone's GPA in college from their high school SAT. So we know that SAT and GPA are correlated with each other. So if I know your high school SAT, I could make a decent prediction about your college GPA, right? Because I know those things are associated with one another. They're correlated in some way. So I'll go to the regression tab again, this time clicking linear regression. I get my options up here. And our dependent variable, or our criterion variable, is going to be uh, GPA. So I'm going to move GPA over to the dependent variable. So I'm predicting GPA as our criterion. And what I'm going to use to predict GPA is the person's SAT score. So I'm going to move SAT into covariates. Now here's where uh, Jamovi makes some decisions about how it lays things out and it separates two types of predictors. Covariates are continuous predictors. Factors are categorical predictors. So for, for us, all we're going to do is covariates are continuous predictors. But just know if, if you happened to want to try it one day, you could throw a categorical variable into factors. And it's essentially going to do either a one-way ANOVA or a t-test. But, but don't tell regression that. So I'll take SAT. I'll put it as a covariate because it's going to be our predictor continuous variable. You can see it's turning the numbers and it results in our regression table. And already you can see basically the things that we want. Uh, and in fact, I think this is really all that we care about at this stage. So the main table we are going to focus on is this model coefficients table, where I get an intercept, an SAT, and I can test various things. The one thing that I want to note is that when it comes to uh, regression, this SAT, the P of less than 0.01, is the same as when we tested before whether SAT was correlated with GPA, right? P of less than 0.01 is going to be the same, right? If, if we had a more specific p-value, you'd see that it's exactly the same. But in this case, it's so small that both are just cut off at being less than 0 0.001. Uh, we'll go ahead and check a couple things. Uh, nothing really in Model Builder that's useful. Uh, none of this other stuff. The only thing uh, that you might be interested in is under Model Coefficients, where you can choose a standardized estimate. I'm going to click this only to show you one particular thing, which is that 0.378 as a standardized estimate is the same as this correlation, 0.378. So we saw before that uh, R correlations, Pearson's R, those are standardized correlations. Uh, and so this is a standardized estimate. So those numbers are going to be the same. I really don't care whether you always include the standardized estimate at this point. I just wanted to highlight that in case that was of any interest to you. But, but this is really the, the nuts and bolts of a regression. So what I'm going to do now is copy this table into a Word document, which is what you'll do on your homework. And then I'll walk you through how to create a regression equation based on these results. So I'll go ahead and take model coefficients, copy that table. We'll go ahead and move into Microsoft Word. I'm going to control V, put those, that table in there. And now we have everything that we had before. So in order to get a prediction equation so that I can figure out what your college GPA might be based on your high school SAT score, here's how I would do it. The first thing uh, is if I'm going to write out an equation, I'm going to say that I'm trying to predict GPA. 
So I write out GPA equals and now follow with my equation. So the first step in a regression equation, which we know, is the intercept, right? That point at which our uh, line crosses the y-axis, or if x is zero, what is y going to be? So in other words, what would GPA hypothetically be if you had an SAT score of zero? We're going to find that here. So intercept, the estimate is the same as saying that this is the number that goes into your equation All right so here intercept of 0.62169 i'll go ahead and uh, make that a little bit shorter uh, and round it down to 0 0.62 right so 0 0.62 is my intercept right so i have my intercept plus uh, and now my slope is the estimate for my predictor variable. So 0 0.003 is the slope in my regression equation. Right? So I'm going to say 0 0.003 uh, and then times SAT score. Oops. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. This is all it takes to create a regression equation out of what Jamovi gives you. Right? So based on the correlation between SAT scores and GPA, I can write an equation that would help me predict what your GPA is likely to be based on your SAT score, right? Not gonna be perfect, because it's not a perfect correlation, but it's significant. So it'll get me a little bit closer to knowing what your SAT score or, or what your GPA is likely to be. So this is the equation. And let's say I wanted to take an example of someone and find their high school GPA if, we'll go ahead and read this uh, out again, and this time I'm just gonna include an SAT score of 700, right? All I'm doing is I'm saying, for someone who scored a 700 on the SAT, what is their college GPA likely to be? And now all I do is solve this equation, right? 0 0.62 plus 0 0.003 times 700, is the GPA that you would expect to get based on the regression equation, right? So again, all we're doing is taking the intercept and the slope from this regression equation, making it into a formula that makes sense, and then creating something uh, where we plug in numbers. And, and the only reason I'm pausing is I'm trying to do the math here on my calculator. Uh, and see what I get. So what I get out of this is 2.72. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and double check that just to make sure that my order of operations uh, did things the right way. Uh, 700, this is riveting video content. Yeah, 2.72. So hypothetically, someone who got a 700 on the SAT based on these particular data would have a projected GPA in college of 2.72, right? That's how you would do a problem like this. So altogether, all we did in review is add in our variables according to how they look in what we're hoping to gain, use the coefficients for the intercept and the slope of our X variable to then write out an equation for predicting our criterion variable from our predictor variable. And that's all there is to it.